Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're well over 3,000 subscribers now, and we're aiming to get 4,000 subscribers by early 2024. So getting on to today's video, of course, there's one week, about one week left of the transfer window until it closes, until it stands shut. Of course, we've signed um, a striker last night and um, now apparently we're on the brink of bringing in another lone player so here we go let's get straight into it so Tom Brady's Birmingham City are closing in on Emmanuel Aru loan deal just a year after his three million move to Cremonosi with defender sold on vision since NFL icons investments so Birmingham City are set to sign the Austrian defender he's been attracted by the vision um, after the takeover and the and the investment so um he played for Italian side um Cremonosi and only joined last summer from Rapid Vienna for three million pounds however he has been attracted to Birmingham's vision following the take yeah literally read that bit out the 22 22 year old um, has agreed personal terms with Birmingham and it's it is now down to the final details being finalised between clubs on a loan with option to buy. Birmingham have been showing their intent since Brady joined the case, the core, sorry. They also moved to sign highly rated young Fulham forward Jay Stansfield yesterday, the England under 20 international has joined on loan. So, obviously, we need a centre back. We've brought in the striker, that's what we needed. Now it's on to the next position. Now, let's have a look. Uh, so, Emmanuel um, Iru, he has played... Um, I don't even recognise some of these clubs that he's played for, you know. Which is understandable, to be fair. I don't know what league he's actually played in. The Austri probably like the Austrian league. But yeah, he is a very versatile player as well. He can not only play as a centre-back, his main position is centre-back. But he can play as a right-back, which is vital if this happens. Absolutely vital because I do not trust Oakley as the backup to Ethan Laird. It's got to be someone better than Oakley. And I know I've not seen this guy play, but he's got to be better than Oakley. And he's very versatile as well. He can also play defensive midfield as well. So he can play in three different positions. That is going to be very, very handful. Very handy for us um, if we, like, say, if we pick up an in a really bad injury to Ethan Laird. I know we've, he's been injured a couple of times this season now. So, um, yeah, if we was to get this over the line, I would be happy. We've got one week left until the transfer window closes. We have to act fast. We have to act now. And, um, yeah, this could be another loan deal. Um, the loan deals are starting to come in now, aren't they, um, as the window draws to a close. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, are you happy that um, potentially, well, it's not, it's not guaranteed, but potentially we could be signing this player? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Even make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the match review: Birmingham, Birmingham City versus Plymouth Argyle. Dembele and Laird out. Oh, I'm still like I said, like I said yesterday, I'm still going one 0 lose. Thanks for watching. Keep.